Hello everyone. We are excited to announce the public preview of the Azure database for MySQL connector. Currently, we have released the connector for Power Automate and Logic Apps platform. Soon, the connector will be available in the Power Apps as well. Now, with this connector, you can use your MySQL Flexible Server as a data source. You can connect to MySQL Flexible Server without a gateway from the Power Automate and Logic Apps platforms. You can utilize the CRUD operations currently available in the connector to read and write data from MySQL. Now, coming to Power Automate, the platform provides you the capabilities to automate business processes. It enables you to move business data uh, between the systems. And uh, there are also 500 different data source options available in the Power Automate platform. You can utilize them in your flows and workflows. Coming to uh, Logic Apps, you can create and run automated workflows that integrate your apps, data, services, and systems. You can build end-to-end -end systems uh, where it can comprise of uh, on-prem data, hybrid data, and cloud data. Now let's learn more about the connector operations. So in the connector, we currently have six operations available. You can learn more about these in the documentation link that we have provided, aka.ms slash MySQL connectors. Currently, the connector is available in all Power Automate and Logic Apps regions. Since the connector is in preview, we currently have a throttling limit of 200 API calls per connection. This is bound to increase once we enter GA. Now, uh, let's see a demo of the connector in Power Automate. Here, we will be using the connector to insert data into a uh, MySQL Flexible Server via a Power Automate flow. Here, I have a MySQL Flexible Server called Demo Server, and I have created a database in it called the Order DB. Now, let's examine the contents of the Order DB. It has a table called orders table, and this is the schema of the orders table. As you can see here, currently there are no rows in the orders table, and we will be building a flow in Power Automate to insert data to this table. Now, let's head to Power Automate portal and create a new flow. We will select Instant Cloud Flow, provide a name for your flow, and here I'll be choosing HTTP request as the trigger. Now, I will configure the next step, wherein I will search for the connector, and select the insert row operation from the list of actions. So here I need to configure the connection details. I will need to specify the server name, database name, username and password credentials. Note that encrypt connection is an optional parameter and I am selecting it for now. Go ahead and create the connection. So once the connection is created, you can configure the rest of the parameters. You, know, you can select server name and database name from the connection settings. Once you click on the table name, it uh, makes an API call and brings you the list of tables. And for the remaining parameters, I'll be using the previous step. I'll be retrieving dynamic content from the API and then plugging into the step. So uh, this is a sample data using which I'll be generating the input schema. The API will accept the schema and then pass on the dynamic parameters. I'll search for the key name of the dynamic parameters. So that's how I insert order name, order date, and status. As a final step, I'll add a response action. So enter the message that you want to bring to the API. And here I'm selecting a dynamic content uh, called body from the previous step. So once you save your flow, you will get the API URL. You can use this URL from any API client. Here I'm using Postman to hit the API. And here I have a sample data that I have populated. We'll be inserting this data into MySQL Flexible Server. Now, once you hit the API, you got a 200 response. And the response contains the details that got inserted. Similarly, I will insert one more row. Again, we got a 200 response with the details. Now, if we examine the database end, we can see that the sample data that we pushed to the API got into MySQL Flexible Server via the connector. Thus, in Power Automate, with few simple clicks, you are able to create a data insertion flow. This is a continuation of the previous demo. In this, we will use the connector to read data from MySQL Flexible Server via Logic Apps. Here, I'm using the same MySQL Flexible Server and database as in the previous setup. One thing to note is that in the networking tab, you need to allow public access for Azure service in order for the app to connect to Flexible Server. Now, let us examine the contents of the database. We have the orders table, wherein we have a couple of records in the orders table. We will build a logic app to read data from this table. Head to the Azure portal and create a logic app. Provide the subscription resource group and the other details that are required. 
Now in the plan type, choose consumption, review and create the logic app. Once the logic app is created, it opens up the logic app designer. You can select the trigger here. I am choosing HTTP request as my trigger. In the next step, I insert the connector action. Search for the connector and choose the get rows operation. Again, if the connection is not created, it would ask you to create a connection. Provide the connection parameters. Here, encrypt connection is an optional parameter. Go ahead and create the connection. Once the connection is created, you can populate the server name and database name from the connection settings. And it will fetch you the list of tables available in the database. You can choose the required table name. As a final step, I'll add a response action. So in this action, I'll couple the output from the previous step. I'll go ahead and save my flow. Once the flow is saved, we get the post URL. You can use this URL in Postman to read data from Flexible Server. Here, uh, we got a 200 response on the API, and you can see that the contents of the table got displayed into the API response. Thus, uh, using logic apps and using the connector, we were able to build a read flow with few simple clicks, and it barely took us like two minutes to build this flow. To learn more about the connector, check out the announcement blog and the learn documentation. If you have more queries or feedbacks, reach out to us in the email ID mentioned here. Stay tuned for more announcements and updates by following us on social media. Thank you for watching. Do try this connector out and let us know your feedback. Thank you.